Hey, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are diving deep into the world of SMS campaigns and showing you how to wield the power of Brevo to craft impactful messages that drive results. Whether you're a seasoned marketer or just dipping your toes into SMS marketing, Brevo is your secret weapon for creating, managing, and optimizing SMS campaigns with ease. Without further ado, let's begin. Now, the first thing you need to do is to log in using your credentials. But if this is your first time here in Brevo, you might want to click your create your account here. It's very easy. No credit card needed. All you're going to do is sign up using your Google. Or if you happen to have your app already, that's going to be convenient because one click you're all set now for those who are new in brevo it's a comprehensive platform that offers various features actually for creating and managing sms campaigns now all i'm gonna do is once you are in the interface of your dashboard you might want to click on the uh, left side panel right here click on campaigns now from your dashboard now the dashboard here has a specifics on the email sms whatsapp web push facebook ads templates statistics settings and a lot more and we have an in-depth tutorial about revo which you might want to check on our channel if you are a fan here but for now let's click on the sms section click on it and once you are here i Obviously, you can send an SMS campaign to a list of your contacts. Now, if your contacts um, aren't created yet, you might want to create your contact list first before you can pr proceed to uh, the SMS campaigns. Now, if you've done that, all you're going to do is click on the Create My First SMS Campaign. Click on it. And you will be directed to a new page wherein you can keep subscribers engaged by sharing your latest news, promoting your best selling products, or announcing an upcoming event. Now, here in creating an SMS campaign, you can customize the campaign name so that it can attract more traffic, more customers, and a lot more. And obviously, let's put something like this one for this video. Click, and once you are sure on that, Again, these are the character limitations, so you might want to take that into consideration because it's only 128 um, characters. Now, click on Create Campaign. Now, when you go here in the uh, Define Campaign Details, you need to provide details for your SMS campaign, including the campaign name, obviously, which we did earlier, the uh, description, target audience, for the sender and other relevant information and you can even define the objectives and goals of your campaign now when you click on the uh, create for um because there's no content for this campaign yet we need to click uh click on the create button here now once you are here we need to craft our sms mes message because we want to send that to our audience we need to keep it concise clear and obviously engaging you need to consider personalizing the message to increase its effectiveness well for example i'm gonna customize the message here right hold on all right so as you can see it's uh, been uh it's been um calculated that it it converts to a uh, two sms you can even select an image or drop it here via the uh, drag and drop method and again these are the file types that are um can be selected it's going to be um jpeg png or gif mms and let's try to uh drop an image here to see how it works now creating your image it's up to you on what platform or app you are going to use but in my case i'm gonna use photoshop adobe photoshop and then i'm gonna save it when you save it you can directly drag and drop it to the uh, sms campaign that we are creating or you might want to customize it for uh for crafting an engaging photo which you can do to a lot of platforms but my suggestion because i've done this in the past i created an sms campaign for a client and what i did was 
just go here in canva if you have a canva account that's going to be convenient and you can choose all the templates that you wanted to upload on your sms campaign but for this video we might want to choose the create and a blank canvas and from here you can choose a template but you can also rename the empty canvas and you can simplify the process by drag and drop the file here that you have created in photoshop adobe photoshop or you can simply click on the upload here whichever you prefer and once we have uploaded our image you might want to maximize it and as you can see after you've done that click on the share button you have the option to download directly the file and remember in terms of the file Bravo only accepts JPEG, PNG, GIF, or MMS. All right, please remember that because if you save it to another file extension, it's not going to be accepted here on Brevo. Now, once you've done that, you might want to download the PNG. You can scrub it to the highest format. You can click on the JPEG, of course, MMS. But also, if you are collaborating with a lot of people on your team, you might want to click on the anyone with link and give them access can edit can view or can comment all right but for now let's gonna let's download it on a png format and click on download now simply locate the folder that you have saved your file and simply drag and drop from here click on it and as you can see there's a notification error here the image should be not more than 850 kilobyte if your file the file you save is in high res you might want to downgrade that so it can be accepted here in brevo and from here uh, there it goes the image has been added here on our first sms campaign and from here you have another option below you can manage us compliance because when you click on it there's going to be another um, option here you can put organization prefix because that would ensure your audience knows who you are it's recommended by the u.s carriers and you also have the option for unsubscribe instructions it's up to you all right you can also um put a stop keyword and you can also add um, special characters if you provided the uh, unsub sub unsubscribe instructions down here and once you finalize all of the details right here, you might want to click on the save button in the upper right corner and then just click on save. Now, once you've done that, you can click on the sender option here. The name you want to show us the person or organization sending the message, click on it so you can fully customize all of that. Now, please remember, you can customize the sender by spe um, specifying a sender ID, but Please take note that for some countries, customization will not work and the sender can appear as a phone number or short code to recipients. And to send an SMS campaign to recipients in the United States or Canada, you must complete this form to be registered with a toll-free number and comply with the regulations. Now, let just now as you can see, when you put some sender ID here, it's being refle uh, reflected live. It's um there's a live um testing now click on save and after that you can also choose the recipient right here you can also create a list and again from here you can manually upload a recipient list containing the phone numbers of all of the contacts you want to send the sms messages to you may also have the option to segment your audience based on criteria such as demographics location or previous interactions right so it's up to you but we have a separate in-depth tutorial on that but in summary you might want to click on the uh, conversation contacts marketing automation client folder if you wanted more configuration right and as you can see you also have an, a filter here wherein you can add a filter if you wanted to uh configure some settings and after doing that all you're gonna do is click on save and you have the option to send a test right so that 
You can review the details of your SMS campaigns, including the message content, recipient list, and scheduling options. If possible, send a test message to yourself or a small group to ensure everything looks function as intended. And if you are sure, once you're satisfied with all the details, launch your SMS campaign here. You can even schedule that so that it will start sending out the messages to your chosen recipients based on the specified scheduled or immediately. All right and obviously based on the insights gathered from your campaign analytics make adjustments to your messaging targeting or timing for future sms campaigns you need to track metrics such as delivery rates open rates click through rates and conversions now use this data continuously and by following these steps you can create and launch an effective SMS campaign using Brevo reaching your target audience with relevant and engaging messages. And I believe that's a wrap for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. And if you have further topics that you would like us to discuss in the future, let us know in the comments below. See you in the next one.